On the road to good health, you must visit Nature's Discount Nutrition Center on Fort Street. Nature's Discount is your first stop for all natural supplements to maintain the health of the entire family, natural alternative medicines to heal your ailments, natural weight management supplies to ensure you look good. Nature's Discount Nutrition Center also carries all of your sports nutrition supplies, cleansing and digestion products, natural health and beauty products, oils, organic and gluten-free foods, energy and endurance, and sexual well-being supplements. Nature's Discount Nutrition Center on 4th Street is open 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Monday through Fridays and evenings 6.30 to 8.30 on Saturdays. Nature's Discount Nutrition Center, your get healthy, feel wealthy people. Exercise trade wins came to a close on St. Kitts Tuesday night with a ceremony at Government House. A large-scale raid featuring more than 300 multinational troops was held on Monday, June 11th at the Fort Thomas Hotel as the men and women got an opportunity to showcase some of the skills and techniques they learnt during Phase 1 of Exercise Trade Wins 2018. The simulated operation featured a high-value target being held up in the building. A small group of soldiers eliminated the sentries outside and cordoned off the area before the main force moved in. An intense exchange of gunfire ensued and the troops used flashbang and smoke grenades in the operation to secure the building. They meticulously and efficiently executed room clearing exercises as they moved from floor to floor, neutralizing the opposing forces and searching for intelligence until the high value target was successfully captured and extracted. You don't want it to be the first time you see it in, in real life, so you, you want to train like we fight. That way, when it happens for real, you know what you're supposed to do and you revert back to your uh, training. While some may insist that the likelihood of such a large-scale security threat is relatively low in smaller Caribbean countries, Mr. Lulin emphasized that an important function of the annual trades wins exercise is to be prepared for any possible threat. The world's changing as we speak, so you never know. Uh, it's always good to have that type of training, and then I don't think it, uh, there's any harm in it. And uh, You always want to prepare for something more drastic than you're really going to have to deal with. So if they have to deal with something with less drastic, they'll be ready for it. The U.S. Southcom officials noted that Monday's exercise was one of the largest land force activities to date. It is a sign of the organizer's willingness to increase the scale and scope of activities to reflect the change in security and disaster scenarios that may actually unfold in the future. Commenting on the success of the exercises at Tuesday's closing ceremony, Prime Minister and Minister of National Security Timothy Harris stated that the joint cooperation has proven beneficial to improving the wider region's initiatives in reducing crime in the Caribbean and by extension the Western Hemisphere. Tuesday's closing ceremony was attended by Governor General His Excellency Sir S. W. Tapley Seaton. The Federation's only living national hero, the Right Excellent and Right Honorable Sir Kennedy Simmons, members of the Federal Cabinet, representatives of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, High Command of the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, Top Brass of St. Kitts Nevis Defense Force, as well as participants and facilitators of Exercise Trade Wins 2018. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.